Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody, and welcome to our very first staycation, staycation of, of the year, year baby. <laughs> staycation Sunday is back. Welcome back to your daily dose. We have an exciting one today. Today we are trying out Disney's cheapest club level here at the Grand Destino within Coronado Springs Resort. We're going to check out the Kronos Club here at Grand Destino. This is Disney World's only club level at a moderate resort. Now there are many different types of rooms within club level, such as a tower view standard, deluxe studio, one bedroom suite, and of course the presidential suite. We are gonna be staying in the, the deluxe studio club access, which runs about 800 to $1,000 a night. The cheapest option is the standard tower view, but that was unavailable for us, so the next cheapest option was the deluxe studio. And that one goes for about $600 a night. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, this is actually where the Lakers stayed during the NBA bubble, and uh, LeBron James stayed inside the presidential suite for, for a couple months, so they were spoiled. I love the Grand Casino. Have you, Casey, you've never been here, right? I Well, of course I've been here, but I've never actually stayed in the tower before. We stayed last year for one of our staycation Sundays. We stayed in the other part of the mm, resort the at Coronado. Um, and I've seen the rooms before. I met your parents oh, for yeah, the true. first That's time right. yeah, yeah, in yeah. the tower. Oh my gosh. So I've definitely been here before and seen the rooms, but this will be a new experience for me because I've never actually stayed here. A good way to kick off Staycation Sunday and our first one of the year. And our birthday months. It's our birthday oh, yeah. this month. Happy birthday month. March 18th, <laughs> March 25th. Mm -hmm. Only one, well, three years and one week apart. <laughs> Since we are staying club, the check-in process was a little bit different and a little smoother. So prior to her stay, we got a phone call. You got the phone call, right? And I got it too. Yeah, we both got a phone call and it was the club level, the, what was it called? The Kronos Club. Kronos Club. They reached out to us just asking if we had any questions about the check-in process. They also let us know that if we came earlier in the day, then we could still use the club even if our room isn't available. So they just wanted to make sure we knew that and asked if we needed a call back. Uh, we could always call them and ask for whatever we need, I guess. They also told us where to go to check on in. We're gonna go ahead right to Bell Services and I believe that someone is gonna come down from club and they're gonna take us on up to the lounge, which is one of the biggest draws of club because you get food pretty much all day that's included in your stay. We'll let you know on the hours up there. However, this is gonna be our third club level here at Walt Disney World. We've done the contemporary, we've done the wilderness, so this is gonna be kinda of cool to compare and see yeah. which one we like. I've heard really great things about this one. I always hear that club level here and at Animal Kingdom Lodge, those are the ones that you have to try if you're interested in club level. Um, so I'm really excited to see what they have. And Polynesian too. Oh yes, and mm -hmm. well, I mean, they're all great. You right. really can't go wrong. It is such an elevated experience versus staying at the resort without club level. I mean, obviously it comes at a price. When he said it was the cheapest option, it's still not cheap by any means, but just depends on what you're looking for for your vacation. It is the cheapest here at Walt Disney World. $600 is the lowest it goes here for that standard viewing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're gonna stay at a Lux, maybe come here and, and try club for the first time. Because other than that, it runs from 1,000 to 2,000 a night everywhere insane. on Disney property. It's it's it's, it's expensive. But yeah. with that we're gonna go check on in, we're gonna see the check in process. We don't think our room is ready right now, but the club will be able to tell us. So something let's go I, find out. Something I've noticed is when we get on property, like instantly I get a text or in a notification on the app that says your room isn't ready or your room is ready. So I think, you know, you can always find out as soon as you get on property what the status of your room is. Disney knows where you are. It's kinda creepy, but Hey, it's Disney. <laughs> First vacation of the year. I can't believe it's taken us three months, but you know, just bought a house and we've been doing a lot, so we've been busy. So thanks for bearing with us <laughs> and waiting three months for the first one of the year. Many more to come. Oh, how I missed this smell. Coronado Springs. We're home, we're home. That's exciting. <laughs> we gotta get our place to smell this good. Now, usually it's Pretty, pretty, bu pretty busy here because now they now use the Grand Destino to uh, check in for the whole entire world resort of Coronado Springs. We're rolling on in here at um, 1240. So our room probably isn't gonna be ready, but since we uh, are club, we're gonna go right to Bell Services, which they they told us to do, and they're gonna call somebody up, buddy up, or we are just gonna go up by ourselves. 
you know, again, staying club, you get like these different perks, a little bit more of heightened service. And then of course the food that we're going to have all day today as well. And Casey, what did we book for dinner? We don't know if we're going to do that yet because we get so much food today. I don't know. I know. We have a pretty late reservation. I think it's like around eight or nine for Toledo or Toledo. I think it's Toledo. Um, so like we have that as an option. I think we'll have a good idea at least two hours prior. We can still cancel. Um, so I think we'll have a good idea by then if we should eat dinner still. <laughs> We've got a lot to do today, but we really ultimately want to relax. Cause I feel like club, you know, if you stay here, you got to utilize club. So we're probably going to just be here all day relaxing. We might go to the pool and um, we are going to do, we usually do two parts to our staycation videos, but we're just going to make this one part today just because we want to, I think have one long video of club here at Grand Destino. So with that, I think we're going to go to Bell Services or I think we can go anybody right now because there's hardly anybody here, which is nice. And Bell Services is located right on over there. And comment down below if you guys were here when Casey met my parents. That was a while ago, but it was here. It's a good time. Now, actually, upon that check-in, make sure you say that you're staying at club because you actually don't have to wait here at all. All they're going to do is they're going to notify someone from club that we're coming on up and we're checking on in. And that's why you can, they say come to Bell Service because Bell Services usually isn't that crowded. You see, they'll be able to like kind of call. Here we go. Getting escorted on up. I think we need actually a key to get up there. I'm unsure because I've actually only visited the Kronos Lounge before. I've actually never utilized it. When I was staying here one time, they let me go see it. They can do a little more magic than we can do awesome. with uh, 2,000 rooms. We're on the 15th floor. Now there's only 80 club rooms here at Grand Destino. But let's head on over. They're just gonna take us there and you know, we can chill here all day. The Kronos Club, what a cool name right now. It actually doesn't look too busy. They actually just started uh, serving, I believe, some light snacks that begin from 12 to four. We'll get a whole like breakdown of hours on what they sell and when, you know, or not what they sell and what they serve during hours of operation. And the hours of operation are only seven to 10 p.m., which I feel like um, at the Contemporary, they, they actually had theirs open until 12. So this is closes a little bit early compared to a lot of the other clubs around Disney property. However, the cast member that took us on up just said the Kronos Club actually just was voted number one last month here on Walt Disney World. So there's that. We could be experiencing the number one club here on Walt Disney World property. And it's also the most inexpensive. Depends on what room you stay in. Lucky for us, there's not that many people here right now because when I was here kind of doing a preview tour, or when they just kind of, not a preview tour, but when they were allowing me to come in here and just look, it was pretty full. It's also the largest one on property as well. It smells great. Casey's just kind of getting the lowdown and he's kind of just explaining the whole resort. Like, look at this. We came at a good time. Another cool thing about Club Access is that they were able to check ready rooms available and we actually have a room ready right now. So we're gonna come here a little bit later. This is open till four for this operation of ours. Well, that was the smoothest check-in process I think I've ever had mm -hmm. on Disney World property. That was nice. What did you learn, babe? Oh, I learned a lot. Let's hear, I learned let's hear a lot. it. We had such a great experience even from the check-in desk downstairs. So we had a cast member named Sarah. She um, she called ahead to let the team know up here that we were arriving and she walked us up here, told us on the way that this is the largest mm -hmm. club on property, which is awesome. 80 rooms. 80 rooms. Um, and they also won best club last month, but I was talking to the chicken cast members. I told them all this oh, so did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What else did it's you okay. <laughs> Wow. <Well, laughs> I was talking I just snorted. <laughs> You should give me that stuff. I just want to see what you learned. <clears throat> um, oh, all of the food here is going to be Spanish inspired from Spain, Spanish. Um, and they do have some American food as well. Like he was saying, mac and cheese and corn dog nuggets. The menu or, does change every day yeah, as well. It's so that's based cool thing on about availability. Club. There's a lot of seafood here, which I don't know if you know, but I don't really love Shrimp seafood, cocktail. but there's Hopefully. a lot of other things too. The other thing I learned is they not only have beer and wine, but this club mm. has vodka. So they mm -hmm. were saying if we wanted to have a mixed drink, we can mix it with like cranberry screwdriver, juice. We can have screwdriver. orange juice. Um, That'd be nice. Club soda, anything like that. So this is 
unique, I think, to this club. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I learned it's a huge. lot. It smells all good. Um, yeah. Real quick, I, since our room is ready, I want to show you guys the hours <laughs> of operation and what they serve, when they serve. He's actually just making our keys right now. We could have just gone to the room already, but we like to have like the physical keys in two, and just in case that my experience isn't working on your app. Now here's kind of like just the general letter they give you upon entering. You guys can pause if you want to read what's on top. But here's on the bottom, here's the food and beverage and the times of operation. So unlike the contemporary, you can't just come in here after hours of operation and grab something, but you can take food from here and put it in your room if you like. So we have coffee, continental breakfast, light snacks, hors d'oeuvres and select beverages and desserts and cordials. And there's the times. It hasn't changed. It's, I think, always going to be like this, but I didn't know that. This is technically the number one club on, or last month, they won that award. So we'll have to see how it is. Well, I was talking to the check-in cast members here. Um, I was like, oh, I heard you all won Best Club last month. And he was like, well, every month. <laughs> he was like, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm actually not really kidding. <laughs> He's like, we, we have a really great club here. This is the only club, I believe, on Walt Disney property that was actually built in mind. The, the contemporary, they, that wasn't built in mind. The Wilderness Lodge, that wasn't built in mind. This is one that was built in. I, I do think a lot of people think that this one actually isn't themed as well. And it looks like a, a hotel or like an airport lounge. I disagree. I think this kind of fits pretty well with the resort. I wouldn't say airport lounge, but it definitely does. I would say it, it seemed very well to this tower. Like all of the light fixtures look like the ones when you're walking into the into the main lobby. They have that wall of light fixtures. So there's a lot of touches. I feel like it ties it in really nicely. One last note before we start heading to our room. Um, you might not actually be on the 15th floor for club. It's actually spread out throughout. We were lucky and we actually got a room on the 15th floor, so that's nice. It's the highest you can be. I think the 16th floor is all food. I so, think so. Awesome. He, did, he asked us if we had a preference of where we wanted to be. I mean, obviously it just depends on if there's more than one room available, but we got lucky because we're like, the highest, the better. Or the said, yeah. He said, you'll be surprised where, where you're going to be. So. I was like, the highest, um, and if it's ready right now, we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> And then he's right here right now, so let's uh, go to our room. And we just found a, a hidden Mickey. I mean, that I think is one, right? It's got. I mean, it looks like Mickey. It's a hidden Mickey. We're calling it a hidden Mickey. Well, here's what they have for the light snacks. Um, he's actually getting us a drink to take back to our room. Remember that's you can get as many drinks as you want. So here's the chips again. This is probably just going to change based on the day. But here's what they have for us. We have some dried fruit, nuts, and seeds. I'm going to take one of these banana chips, pretzels. Again, this is light snacks for four hours. And we got deluxe crackers. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, a celebration cookies. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to definitely take some of these cookies. I'm a sucker for cookies. Like, I've been eating so many Girl Scout cookies, so it's kind of bad for me, but I'm taking cookies. Roasted red pepper hummus, cauliflower, and then peanut butter and jelly. So really not as much as I was expecting. Um, but I wonder if that's gonna change because they do have one more station over there. I'm sure for a little bit later, that's probably gonna be for dinner. But yeah, this is definitely, definitely light at that. What are you guys' thoughts? This I think would be my favorite section uh, because it's the coffee station. They also have a lot of, of teas here. So I'll definitely be getting a tea before bed. We have these fancy machines. They have all the syrup, so you can make like a really nice, um, fancy coffee. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe that. No, this is definitely Casey's Casey's corner right here. This is this screams Casey, coffee. What is it? Hot chocolate. Oh wow! And it's Joffrey's too. Yeah, that's nice. Oh what? Oh my gosh! We can just be like, you can take some of these if you want. <gasps> I love I mean, that. Don't go crazy. Though. Yeah, don't go crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Here inside the refrigerator, they have apple juice, yogurt, grapes, apples, milk, and then sodas. Then if you want, upon request, you can get alcohol because they don't want kids just coming here and grabbing alcohol. Oh, wow. We got our mimosas. These are hog juice mimosas with grenadine in them. Um, they can do regular mimosas, they can do cranberry mimosas, or this. So we opted for this one, but here you go. I kind of feel like we just checked in for a, a cruise ship. We don't have to walk too far. Club Lounge is right here in our room, right across the way. 
No wonder he said that we'd be surprised. <laughs> he wasn't kidding. It's literally right here. <laughs> let's go. Let's check it out. I love it. This, now this is deluxe, so I think this is gonna be a little bit better, bigger than a standard. We'll we'll have to see. Ninety-five, thirty-six. Oh, holy! Oh, holy. yeah, it's a little different. Okay, the first thing I'm noticing is that there's a bathroom here that doesn't have a shower, so that means that there's a second bathroom, or we're not showering tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I think this might be the best room we've ever stayed in. Holy, this is a studio? This is not a studio. Yeah, did we get like upgraded or something? Cause I'm, I, 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 I can't mm -hmm. really believe that this is a studio. Actually, I kind of want to ask, I don't know. Cause to me a studio is like- One room. One room, yeah, with everything in one room. But this is like, this feels like a one bedroom. Huh. We gotta ask, we gotta ask. We gotta <laughs> ask. Whew. This has got to be one of the best rooms we stayed on property, but if you decide to do a deluxe studio here, make sure you request the L-shaped deluxe studio because there's like a triangle shape and everybody prefers this one. So we got like the better out of the two and they're the same square yeah. foot, but a lot of people like this as you guys are about to see. Yes, they, uh, they did say that the other one, the triangle one, is a little bit more of like an open concept, but this one feels more like a one bedroom than an actual studio. <laughs> but it's so cool. Like, it really I cannot is. believe this is a studio. Yeah. Blown away. This Didn't is nuts. we stay in a studio at Riviera and it was like... The smallest one? Yeah. That but was it was a studio, one. right? That was the smallest studio on the Disney property, so the tower. Of, like, I knew it was going to be bigger than that, but that's kind of the, the layout I was expecting, not separated like this. True, because this feels like a one bedroom. Yeah, And they really does. They do have yes. one bedrooms here, but there's only three of them. I can't imagine what a one bedroom would be like. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> so for starters, here is the beginning of our room. It looks like we actually have an attached door if we had friends next door as well. Um, but we're gonna have our half bath at the front and it's a huge, this is a huge bathroom. Like, look at this. It's like they didn't know what to do with the space. <laughs> There's just so, it's just, wow. Really happy we got this layout too. Again, average 800 to 1,000 per night for this. This one, what are you, what are you doing? Are you taking pictures? I wanna take my own video. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm for you. Well, we got the mirror. There's a lot of mirrors. The decor here is beautiful. And we're coming on into, I guess we're gonna call our living room, but we have our mini bar section where we're gonna store all our food that we wanna eat, that we're gonna save for later, or maybe even for the next day. We could, we could pack some food up for tomorrow. I mean, in theory, yeah. Cause we're only gonna be here for breakfast, but the cool thing about that is you can use club the whole day if you wish. Could you mind um, opening this up? Cause that's a huge, huge refrigerator. Here we're gonna hold our snacks. That is a big refrigerator. It is big. It's bigger than the normal um, refrigerator that they mm -hmm. have here at Coronado. It's, it's also weird. way more sleek. It just looks Yeah, really it looks nice. nice. It looks like actually... A wine, like a wine fridge. Uh-huh. Speaking of wine, all of the wines here are all from Spain. That's a fun fact for you. It is. Thank you, Salvador Dali. That's what this resort is inspired after. Um, we have coffee here, but like no need to do this because, you know, we have coffee in the club. But here's what they have. Tea is what you get on Disney property everywhere else. But, you know, we're going to utilize the club, obviously. Is this slow closing doors? Nope. What's down there? No. More storage. Just storage. Yeah. I don't know what you'd use that for. And then... If you're here for a long time, then you use that for many things. What we got here? Closet. Okay. Light goes on. The luggage rack here. Oh. This is... I think there's another closet. I don't know. I, I think you're... You're right. I might be wrong, actually. Well, here's the living room. Like... Hey, MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> quite literally. It is huge, guys. This is so close. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. We got our TV. Oh. That was, was more so close. <laughs> <laughs> that seen better days. Yep, beautiful decor. Like, Grandestino is beautiful. Even Coronado, I feel like itself is a steal in a way. If you just stay at Coronado, um, wait till you see a view. Got natural light. Come on in in our living room. What do you guys think? 
Very slick. Is that our kitchen slick. table? Sleek? Did I say slick? Yeah. Uh, whatever. Slick. It's a Kyle but word. How cool these chairs are. They're leather, but they're all... Has this, uh... Design. Oh my gosh, what is this called? This gonna embroidery? drive you nuts. No, it's like this embroidery. kind of... I've got no idea. Ooh, um, you mind shutting that TV off? You got some people talking in there to us. I was like, who's in our room? <laughs> All right, well, there is our living room. Um, the, the pictures online were a little bit confusing. We didn't know if it was gonna be kind of like an open concept. You can get that. But if you're gonna see here, there is our living quarters and there's a sliding door right there, Casey, is there? there is. Let's see that. That's yeah. why it really feels like a one bedroom. Look at that. One bedroom living room. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Oh, the couch is a pullout as well. That's a pullout. All right. This has a nice amount of space for a family. Mm-hmm. I wonder if the other like non-club level studios are like this though. Probably. I think it's just a standard room that you see at Coronado. Sorry, okay. the Grandestino. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's what it is. All right, here's our room. King mattress with a view. Like a stunning view. We got lucky. We really did. We really did. Tons of space underneath for storage, but I don't even think you need to do that because you got tons of space to, you know, put your luggage elsewhere. And there's actually a nice little area for your luggage, which I believe this is what this area might be intended for because there's just a lot of open space there. But yeah, we have our nightstand, tons of outlets, drawers, what we'd use that for, the Bible. It's beautiful. Is that, what, what does that do? Clo is it just clothes? This is the... Oh, robes. We have robes. Oh my gosh, and slippers. Oh, let's go. Slippers. Wait, does this sit? Oh, these are really soft. <gasps> yeah, Feel these, are, these are what they that. sell. <gasps> that is so soft. It's like, it's like a baby's that. bum. Oh, really yeah, soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slippers, uh, an iron. That's nice. Case will probably put that on tonight just because she likes to take baths. Is there a bath? <gasps> I don't know. No, there's no bath. Ah. That's okay. I usually don't take baths in hotels just because like I'm a little bit of a clean freak. I trust it, but I don't. Wait, this is a huge. <laughs> There's so much space in here. So much. I don't know if it kind of comes off that way on camera, but this is nice. And same with this. You see this on every club level pretty much throughout Disney. They like to have that little, little rug there for you. And here is our shower looks just like the showers throughout this beautiful resort, regardless of where you stay. And then we have our bathroom in this little suite. I like to call these like the little thrones. <laughs> Got the throne space. What do you guys think? Should we maybe check out the presidential here one night? <laughs> what if we did a presidential suite? <laughs> um, reminder, you just bought a house. Yeah, true. Yeah, I know. I know. One can dream. Um, these are frosted out too, obviously because of the showers here, but her view is is so nice. So it's about like halfway frosted out. Um, let's see the view. We can here, see everything. We're definitely gonna be able to see the fireworks. There's Magic Kingdom over here. You can see Space Mountain. And then you see Everest over here. Where, where, where? Right there. Oh, there Mount she Everest. is. Yep. Epcot is more, what, this way? On the other side, so we won't we be able, able to see it. We wouldn't be able to see. We can go downstairs and watch Epcot fireworks, but at least we'll get Magic Kingdom tonight. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And I feel like, I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like if you're club level, it's just going to be hard to leave the resort because you're just going to want to utilize the food. You're going to utilize this space. I'm happy. This yeah. is, this is I beautiful. Already, I already warned the cast members at the club that we'll be seeing them all day because <laughs> we came here for a club yeah. level. Uh, we have no other plans other than dinner. So I can tell you a plan. What? The other day, one of my birthday gifts has arrived <laughs> and Casey got me a switch for my birthday. So we brought the switch and we're going to be praying the switch in the living room yeah. probably all day with her snacks or food. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we have to say though, the reason why he has his gift already is because he guessed what I got him. Well, she she was being suspicious <laughs> and she let me guess. So I was like, is it a switch? And then she goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> so when it came, I mean, I was just as excited about yeah. the switch as he was. So I opened it. Well, she so, opened it. We opened it. Yeah. I let him open it early. 
and we have Mario Kart, and we got um, Super Mario Warrior, I think. Mm -hmm. So much fun. We're going to uh, have a great time. No, Super Mario Wonder. Wonder. Mm -hmm. Wonder. Why do I keep thinking Warrior? Listen, I feel bad for guessing, but like... She, she made me guess. Well, she let me guess. Okay, part of me was happy that you guessed right, though, just because then I could give it to you early. And we're having so much fun. Because <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> we're going to go get some snacks, um, and when there's probably nobody in the lounge, I'll, I'll give a better tour of the area. And then as the hours change, we're going to film the food and what we have. So one night stay for, for club, but this is beautiful. This is unbelievable. Can't believe this is a deluxe studio. It's really nice. I can't believe it either. Wait, wait, who's this? I think that's yours. That is mine. I've been wow. drinking while you've been vlogging. <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. Woo! Let's cheers to more of these. Cheers to more of these. Yes. yes Birthday please. month and celebrating our first vacation. Well, I got one down. I think more to go. Yay. <laughs> Let's go, baby. And the journey begins to the Kronos Lounge. Oh, wow. We have to go so far. I'm so blessed with this room. Like, look at this, we're spoiled. I mean, you guys saw it already, but here's what I got for my light snacks. Just some peanut butter and jelly and some sun chips, and we're just waiting on our next drink here. We can just go up and ask and they'll get it for us. It's super nice. Casey's plate looks a lot more appetizing. I just don't really like stuff like that, but she did a good job at displaying that. All right, I don't like hummus, but this red pepper hummus is amazing. I had to get my own. I'm like, guys, I despise hummus, but this is so good. Living our, our best lives. This is kind of the closest you'll get to Disney property with being an all-inclusive. <laughs> Probably the biggest tip that I have for um, the light snacks hour is for breakfast to stack the meat. Oh, thank you. So that was quick. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Got another. Got another one. Um, but anyways, to stack the meat during breakfast, like bring it back to your room and then eat it during the, like the light hours if you're not going to the parks because then you have more than just like like the light snacks then you have meat and they usually have bread too and then you can like make a sandwich or something as far as uh getting your your next drink goes you can just go up and like ask them but some some of them kind of just wander around and ask mm -hmm. how you're doing but i got an ipa in case you got a blue moon cheers cheers to that <sighs> Mm, I love blue moon. I love IPAs. I do not. I love them. They <laughs> I hate bite. IPAs. They bite. It didn't take long for us to uh, start playing the switch. However, for some reason, we plugged the switch into the TV. The volume is crazy loud. We can't really fix it. So I'm trying to do that. If we can't, we can't play the switch together, which is kind of unfortunate. No, you can. No, you can. Yeah, you can. You can take this. Oh, you can do it on that? Look. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Never mind. We can play. <laughs> I'm editing. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Where do you want to go? Right here. Okay. Let's go to the, the club. It's closed in about, well, this serving closed in like 10 minutes. What did you choose? I got a latte. That did it so fast. I know, fast. that's why I couldn't call you over. Oh my gosh. I, I almost didn't make it with the cup in time. I, I saw it look so cool. <laughs> You press this and it's gonna yeah. go in like two seconds. <laughs> Instantly. But what I'm excited Wait, about. Take one of these bad boys. Yeah. Casey's going oh. fancy. Yeah, yeah, I'm like I'm we just went to the lounge or the club one more time and just got a, another drink or so. It's four o'clock right now and they don't start serving, you know, like the dinner portion until about five, but you can still go in and out of the lounge and there's still um, cast members in there. So you can actually go in there and still get drinks. Freely, they just don't have any food until the next arena at five. <laughs> We're gonna do some shopping. Yes, we are. We always go shopping when you're with me, right? I seriously love this resort. We gotta somehow find the scent of this resort. It's like one of my favorite. And we could go to the bar, but why would we? Why would we? Such a waste of money. We got the Yeah, we're, we're drinking to make sure like, you know, we get our money back. Cause we, you know, it's kind of like if you drink a certain amount of drinks, you get a hundred dollars back on what you paid. So it's like a hundred dollars off per 10 drinks you drink, right? Or technically eight. But technically we're going to be getting a hundred dollars off our stay because free drinks. <laughs> 
we have I spotted Goofy. I don't know if anyone else is there, but let's go meet Goofy. Very rarely are there characters at hotels, but I will say I do see him a lot here at Coronado. No shot! Donald, Daisy, Goofy, are you in Pluto? This is the old check-in area of Coronado. Grandma and Grandpa, this is where you guys were last when you stayed at Disney. Chicken dinner here too. It's a whole character for losing. They are. Oh my Look at Donald. Wow. We just ran on into one of you and it's crazy to because- four of you. Four of you guys. Four of you. And it's all clear now. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was just saying, Mom, my uh, grandma and grandpa, this is the last area you guys were. Every time I'm here, I always mm -hmm. gotta say, this is the last place you guys stayed on um, your Disney vacation. I don't know if they'll ever come down again. And it's crazy how fast this place actually cleared out. But where are we going, Casey? To the store. Let's go see if you want anything. It's a nice store. They have, they have stuff, but like, you know, it's just a, a resort. It's a resort store, so uh, it's not too much, but you can find some things. And here's, here's the family. I'm gonna ask if they wanna jump around. I think we're catching this at a good time, too. Nobody is here. Let's see if they have any new merch. Oh, man. Okay, do you remember, remember, <laughs> do you remember how we wanted to buy mugs for all of our staycations? I, I'm gonna continue that. We're getting, we're getting this. Are you serious? Yes, I really want to. Kyle, we just said. I love mugs. I know, but. I know, but I want it. I do too, but yeah, it's a really nice one. <laughs> it has a, but Kyle, our, our mug collection is practically exploding. Like when we empty the dishwasher, <laughs> We have to like stack on top and like squeeze in places. I didn't think we'd have to squeeze in. I saw this in the park the other day since Easter is right around the corner. We got Mickey and Minnie mm -hmm. Easter and they're really soft. Coronado Springs coasters. Mugger coasters. Mug. Yeah, so if you stay here, I advise doing your shopping inside the parks or at Disney Springs. They don't really have too much of a selection it's it's just enough if you're trying to look for like that last gift but the safe bet is to do your shopping at the parks or springs so i did conveniently forget to bring a sweatshirt for tonight in hopes that this sweatshirt would be available the button or the zip up one that i wanted at magic kingdom so i know they have it i might have to come back and get it later if i'm cold i'm gonna ask you guys, how much do you think Maribel is here? How much do you guys think she is? If you guessed $150, you are right. And if you buy this, you must be a collector. It's $150. I found these really cute, um, they're bathing suit cover-up shorts over by the bathing suits. I've never seen these before. They're, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a terry cloth material with little Mickey heads. And then, of course, we have Minnie. And conveniently, they have a home decor line. This is the, I mean, we have these. If you guys have been watching, we have this diffuser. This is what Casey wants to buy more of. Part of me wants to buy two more of these. I don't know. Should we complete the set and have four of these? Or do you think we're okay with having two? Let us know down below. I was saying yes. So you think we should? I think we should buy two more of these instead of a mug. Yes. No. <gasps> he said yes. No. <laughs> okay. Casey has a valid point. Hand wash only. That stinks. I really feel like every time we come to that gift shop, we don't get anything. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. But, real quick shout out to Grandma and Grandpa again. This used to be the old lobby. Now it's just a cool relaxation place. But it's about five o'clock. It is time for hors d'oeuvres and probably another mimosa. Another one. Another one. Another one.
Fun fact, I will say last time in KC I were here, we had a date night at the at the Three Bridge Bar, but we got two drinks here at the Barcelona Bar, and it was like 35 bucks for two drinks. So can you see why, you know, we're, we're having a little sip sips today to get a little bit of a discount on our stay, you know? I'm excited to see what food they have. The hors d'oeuvres. By the way, hors d'oeuvres is spelled really weird. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know how to turn this shit out of there. <laughs> okay, the food has started here. We've got potatoes, spicy aioli, right here as well to go with those potatoes. Okay, I've, n I've never had swordfish. Very adventurous type of food here. I'm gonna try that. Casey probably will not try swordfish. Some mini corn dogs for the kiddos or for me because I'm gonna have some mini corn dogs. Here's kind of a good opportunity for us to see all the alcohol that they have included here. The wines, the beers, and then of course like the beverages that they can make with the vodka and stuff, the mimosas. There's a lot. Probably saying this wrong, but Verde Gaz Paucho. I have no idea what that is, but we're gonna give it a go. We've got like the tomato type dish here garlic bread as well apricots fig jam and pickles okay smoked turkey and marinated olives chorizo jack fruit salad oof assorted cheeses berries and honestly that is about it Casey's gonna love these olives I'm not about olives but I'm gonna try to be adventurous tonight especially with that swordfish and then we have what we have seen at the light snacks. Same thing here. And that's it. Here's what I decided to go with tonight. I am going to try Swordfish after this. Decided to kind of test this first to see how it is. And we decided to have a nice little view of Hollywood Studios and Epcot. Okay. I've had a bite of like the whatever the tomato thing was. Delicious. I've had, I've had a hot dog. A little mini corn dog. That was good. I mean, it's not anything of like hardcore substance, you know, it's hors d'oeuvres, but it'll do the trick if you have more than one serving. I'm curious to see how I'm gonna like the, the swordfish, but I would've liked them to have like some like chicken or something else other than swordfish too for those of Casey who oh, I'm doing won't just eat fine. fish. There's there a are. whole bowl of olives. Just leave me there with that cheese. I'll be just fine. Like honestly, I think there's a lot of good options. Now this is like cold soup. I'm not a real big fan of soup, but for it being cold, it kind of reminds me of a smoothie. It doesn't really taste like a smoothie, but it just kind of reminds me of one. And I know picky eaters probably wouldn't really even adventure to try to try this. Like I know it's time to try the swordfish. Normally I probably wouldn't try this, but I will try anything for the vlog. I'm a pretty adventurous eater when it comes to that. So uh, let me cut up a slice here and see if I like swordfish. Here we go. First time trying swordfish. You ready, Case? Honestly, it's not bad. But I'm not like a lover of it. It's Isn't it like a pretty mild fish. Yeah. It don't really taste too much fishy. Oh, I'm bad. I don't think I want more. I'm okay. But it's not bad. Mai Tai. I like Mai Tai. Remember Mai Tai? Mai Tai's a dream. Mahi Mahi. Mahi Mahi. <laughs> I like Mahi Mahi. I don't know why I said Mai Tai. I get those confused. <sighs> I'm just gonna pass on it. They also have um, little potatoes with this really yummy sauce. I don't know what the sauce is, but this is a really, really good option that they have here. It was next to the swordfish, so it's supposed to be like more of the heavy stuff. Like more of the entree kind of thing. Super yummy. I don't know how you guys are going to feel about this meal. I find myself gravitating more towards the mini corn dogs and the turkey um, to fill me up and same with the cheese, but I mean, we kind of had going in mind that we were probably just going to eat this. I mean, we had Toledo for a for backup plan, but this is going to be enough for us. I kind of want some more mini corn dogs. By the way, I didn't even notice, but they have restrooms in here. That's kind of clutch. And I mean, we don't really need to do that because our room is right across the street. Well, um, we still have dessert to go. I think we're gonna put that in for tomorrow's video. Can, can, can you guys see why I usually do 
two videos for staycations, like part one and part two. These videos are long. So we're gonna keep this one technically a, a full day, but you'll have to stay tuned for tomorrow to see the desserts and what we do tonight and then obviously tomorrow with breakfast because you know we get breakfast, we get coffee, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be great. We just gotta hop skip in two seconds, we're in. I know. The it's club. honestly a closer walk from here to there than from here to the other bathroom in our room. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, we've been, been enjoying her stay. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you tomorrow with the conclusion of um, our stay. We love you guys. Thanks for uh, watching and supporting us each and every single day. And um, that was it for your daily dose. Bye bye. Bye bye. Chronos Lounge, what do you guys think? I think we love it. A we plus. love it. 100%. Real quick, I think. We're gonna give the review tomorrow of the full experience compared to what we experienced on Walt Disney World. I just so gave my review. Yes, she did. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Bye. Jump around. Jump around. There we go. There we go. And that's it. Perfect.